Here's what was your reaction? Uh, I was really excited. I mean, anytime you get the opportunity to get drafted, uh, you know, it's, it's a blessing. And uh, God's really put me in a great position. And uh, can't thank everybody here enough for everything they've done for me at Creighton. And, uh, you know, back at Regis Jesuit High School, those, those people have really put me in a great position. I can't thank everybody enough. Well, obviously, you got to think about it, or do you have to think about it? Where are you at in your head? You know, I, I haven't really talked to him very much, uh, kind of see what happens. I know I know we got a few things to work out, and uh, I think they want to do some medical stuff and whatever, and uh, physicals, that kind of thing. So uh, once that all gets figured out, then uh, we'll go from there. When you heard that you know, San Francisco Giants were the ones, when they gave you the call, mm -hmm. how, what was that like? Uh, it was really exciting. Um, they, I didn't. They didn't actually call me before uh, I got picked. So I was just sitting there uh, watching on my computer, and uh, sure enough, there comes my name. So I was really excited, and uh, I got a call from them seconds later, and uh, I was really excited to talk to them and uh, excited about the opportunity. Can you talk a little bit about your time here at Creighton and what the the coaching staff has done for you developmental wise? Yeah, they've been unbelievable. Uh, I can't thank Coach Service, Coach Smith, uh, for everything they've done. Um, they really look out for the players here, and uh, it's just an unbelievable uh, family that we've built. And uh, it's it's going to be a tough place to leave, that's for sure. But uh, there's so many great memories that that I'll have here and uh, things that the city of Omaha has given me with being able to play in TD Ameritrade and that kind of thing. It's uh, pretty unbelievable. Looking back, and you mentioned some of the memories. Anything specific that stand out? Any specific game that you go, man, this is... You know, I, I always remember uh, one of my first games against Northern Colorado playing against my hometown uh, team there and uh, played against those guys. And uh, that was kind of the first time I could realize that I could pitch at the Division One level. And then, uh, obviously, your first start uh, in the new stadium against Nebraska, that's that's always going to be with me. Uh, never forget that pitch and uh, fly out to right field, you know. So it was that's been an unbelievable experience. The conference championship games the last two years has been so exciting to be able to be a part of that and, uh, and win a couple championships for this school. And that really means a lot to me. Here you're the highest drafted. Creighton player since 99? That's that's hard to believe for me because there's been so many great guys that have come through here. You know, you look at what Jonas did last year and uh, guys like that. And uh, so many good infielders that have come through here. You look at Darren Ruff, who's doing great. Pat Venditti, you know, it, it means a lot to me to, to have my name right up there with those guys. Ty, do you see any scenario in which you turn for your senior year? You know, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure at this point. Um, most likely it looks like I'm going to go play, but, um, you know, I'm not ruling anything out yet at this point. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. the, the way you guys started out and the, the unbelievable finish you had, was there any point in time during the season, maybe towards the end of the season, where things started to click a little bit between the offense and the defense? Did you guys, like a team meeting, or did you just get a feeling you were together well. You know, it was tough. We we struggled there for quite a while during the regular season. I'm sure everybody knew it and uh, so we uh, we we really kind of fought the process, but coach service just said stay with it, stay with it, just keep playing great in baseball, things will come. And uh, we believed in him and uh, once everybody kind of finally bought in and was like, "All right, we can do this thing. We can win the conference tournament." You saw a lot of strides coming down uh, May, you know, we started playing a little bit better beating you know, Dallas Baptist beating Wichita State, you know, a couple of games there and gave us some confidence. And then uh, we went into that tournament and we knew we had a great chance if uh, everybody should just start playing the way they were capable of. And uh, the hitters really stepped up and, uh, you know, they won that tournament for us. So it was awesome. You know, the way that no matter what happens with you or whatever, but to, to be on a team two years in a row, go to the tournament, how special is that to lay the foundation that you guys are a perennial power now? Uh, that, that means the most to me out of anything is uh, just that the team has had success. I wanted to come to a program and win championships when I when I committed to come to Creighton and uh, to be able to do it back to back years that that's really meant a lot to me and to be able to be a part of that and uh, help this city do that and uh, you know, see if we can't start some tradition here where we where we are that perennial powerhouse getting to super regionals and getting back to the college world series here in the near future.